I'm Cindy Outsworm from Kayak. You're watching Live Prague. Hello music friends, Marcel Huster, the Dutch guy here. And welcome to Live Prague and welcome to my review of Incarnate. The brand new studio album from Panic Room. It is their fourth album already. Two years ago I first heard the music of Panic Room uh, with the album Skin. Uh, that was their third album and I gotta say I really enjoyed that album very much. And especially, I have to be honest, the vocals of Anne-Marie Helder. I think she has the voice of an angel. Then, last year, I had a chance to review a side project from them. Uh, they, they kind of took a break with Panic Room and uh, Anne-Marie Helder and Jonathan Edwards focused on something a little bit different, uh, Luna Rossa, which was their acoustic-driven musical project. And I gotta say, the album they released was very beautiful. Uh, showed a little bit of a different side from the band. Now they are back with a new Panic Room album. And of course, I was curious, what influence would that uh, sidestep to Luna Rossa have on this album. Something else that also happened and that also can have a big impact on the band is the fact that guitar player Paul Davies left the band. He was with Panic Room since the beginning uh, and of course you know he made his mark on the music with his guitar so now on this album we have a new guitar player Adam O'Sullivan And the question of course rises, well, how will that affect again the music on this album and will it change the sound of Panic Room? Well, it does not change the sound of Panic Room. Uh, also the whole Luna Rossa idea didn't drastically change the sound of Panic Room and I didn't expect that to be. I expected that they would carry on the kind of atmospheric, folky prog that they brought on Skin and they also brought in their previous albums and that's what they do. Although they do tend to move a little more towards the softer and the acoustic uh, elements in the music. And I gotta say I really liked it, but going back to the guitar player Paul Davies, uh, the band gives him a great opportunity to make his mark on the music already with the first track. Because the first track, Velocity, opens up with a guitar riff. And a really good one at that. A really heavy, crunchy riff. So he sets the tone and therefore he kind of already owns that song and he owns the audience as soon as you start listening to this album because the first track Velocity is one of the heavier, bit of a more up-tempo track on the album. Uh, the rest is definitely, you know, it's not a heavy album, definitely not, but that track is and there are a couple of other heavier, crunchier moments as well. For example, also in the title track that also has that nice crunch in the guitar. But throughout the album, uh, Adam O'Sullivan shows he's a very versatile guitar player. He can also play the softer parts, uh, the poppy parts that we have, for example, uh, in a track like Waterfall, but also some Floydian stuff, uh, which you find in the song All That We Are. Uh, there's a nice guitar solo that you hear in, for example, Searching, uh, and there's some acoustic parts in it as well. So there's a lot of variety in the music. Also, the rhythm section is very good. I really like the bass. The drums are nice and soft, uh, you know, never dominating too much in the music. Um, and the thing that really shines out is, of course, the vocals by Anne-Marie Helder. Because she is, as I said, she has the voice of an angel. And, you know, I almost say it doesn't matter what she sings as long as she sings. Because uh, I'll, I'll listen to anything she sings so far. I mean, I've loved Skin. I love the Luna Ross album. I love this one very much. Uh, fans will definitely love this one and, and people who are not familiar with Panic Room listen to it because you will love it and if you have listened to the Luna Rossa album uh, you should definitely also listen to Incarnate because that also is very beautiful. There's uh, some poppy songs on it. Uh, what I found very interesting is the, the beginning of the track Waterfall uh, that had this, this hint of Super Tramp in it. At the beginning the keys by Jonathan Edwards, uh, you know, I, I like that. I mean, I don't know if it's, maybe it's not intentional, but it just resembles a little bit. There are, uh, that's another track that I also liked. I mentioned it already, All That We Are with the Floydian guitar. That is a more jazzy track. That is definitely one of the highlights on this album for me. I really enjoy that one very much, despite the fact that I'm not really into jazz. I, I 
there are a lot of musical influence these days that kind of warm me up to a certain amount of jazz in the music and this track definitely helps with that. The album also has a really nice earworm track and that is Into Temptation because the chorus of that track just gets stuck in my head and just won't leave and every time you know I, I start to sing that chorus I like that very much. So we have once again a very beautiful album with a lot of great music on it, the band showing what they do. Uh, I really see because Anne-Marie Helder uh, wrote a really big chunk of the music on this album uh, by herself so she is really developing herself as a songwriter as a vocalist also playing uh, some guitars on it there's a there's a nice song on it that even has some harmonic on it that's the track searching uh, which is a nice touch again so they really bring in some nice elements um, although the atmosphere that I find on this album is similar to the atmosphere I find on the previous albums I mentioned Luna Rossa and Skin um, I, I definitely hear that this is a different album they really create different kind of songs but keep that same atmosphere that well in my idea in my opinion is Panic Rules once again they have done it. They have created a fantastic album, Incarnate. I'm really happy I enjoyed it. The one thing I noticed, I mean, as you can see, it's a nice uh, kind of gatefold idea with um, well, the, uh, the CD right here. And there is a booklet right here with the lyrics in it. Um, that's about it. The only thing I noticed, I mean, I have skin here. I have this one here. And well, you can see, put it like this. You see the new version is a little bit smaller so when I put it in there it kind of disappears a little bit so that's the only thing well, minor inconveniences but you know that's me I have to mention it otherwise my review wouldn't be complete maybe I'm OCD about that I don't know nevertheless incarnate Panic Room, a fantastic album. So let me know if you heard the album already, if you've seen the band live. I mean, they've been playing a lot, especially in the UK. I heard they're also coming to Europe, to the mainland, to the Netherlands as well. So there's a chance I might finally get to see this band live and uh, hear the material also of this album live on stage. But, you know, let me know what you think of this album. So once again, Panic Room Incarnate. Thank you for watching and I hope you will see me at a new review.